Jordan is a nation that is geographically and perhaps psychologically caught in the middle of this war and sees itself as one of the big potential victims. CNN's Doug James wraps up the day in Amman, Jordan. The blood-red sunrise was like an omen over the Middle East. It is a war between the devil and God. But even the most faithful could be forgiven for believing God had somehow slept through the human thunder that descended from the heavens over Baghdad. War knows no boundaries, and here in Amman, Jordan, 650 miles to the southwest, the pain of destruction was felt as surely as it was felt in the heart of Baghdad. For here, Palestinians believe the attack on Saddam Hussein's Iraq also killed their lifelong dream of a homeland. Iraq gave them hope. That hope could be misguided, could be false, could be exaggerated. But it gave them that hope. And they see the Americans, American administration and their allies, trying and working very hard to destroy that hope. The people of Jordan woke up to the news with shock and dismay. We were very sorry and very angry in the house when we heard the news. Shock and dismay that followed them through the entire day as more news came from Baghdad. Even some Kuwaitis in exile were saddened that it had come to this. And we feel sorry. We feel sorry for the whole story since August the 2nd until now. King Hussein of Jordan called an emergency meeting of his cabinet, and afterward a government spokesman condemned what he called the brutal assault on an Arab neighbor. Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev sent an urgent letter appealing to Jordan, caught in the middle between Iraq and Israel, to stay out of the conflict. And in a CNN interview, Crown Prince Hassan said his nation would do its best to help those caught in the middle of war. It will. It is a question of people. Where people matter. All people matter, of course. The pre-war escape from Iraq suddenly became a post-war exodus as dozens of families fled the war-torn nation. One bus dodged bombs throughout the night as it made its way to the Jordanian border. Jordan, which only last week closed its border with Iraq to most refugees, has now had a change of heart. The United Nations Relief Organization says it will pay all costs involved. And as a result, the government here says it will lift its restrictions. It says it can handle up to 50,000 refugees, but it expects more than 750,000. Doug James, CNN, Amman. And there is a lot more to come in our coverage of the war in the Gulf. For Gerald Ackeson, I'm Ralph Wendy. Stay with us. Good show.